What's up, everybody? It's me, Chris, coming at you once again. Um, I was rewatching De La Hoya Pacquiao this weekend and Bernard Hopkins versus Kelly Pavlik, and it kind of gave me an idea for a video, and I'd like to hear some of your guys' opinions. Uh, if any of you guys read these boxing websites, a lot of them recently gave out awards for 2008, such as Best Fighter of the Year, Best Fight of the Year, Knockout of the Year, things like that. Um, as I said, I rewatched a couple fights over this weekend, and the idea I came up with, not idea, but just something I noticed because there was a lot of them last year, surprisingly, would be worst performance of uh, 2008. Now this doesn't necessarily mean fights like um, Quintana, Carlos Quintana against Paul Williams, the second fight where he got knocked out early, or Ponce de Leon against, Daniel Ponce de Leon against Juan Manuel Lopez where he got knocked out early, or even uh, Malta versus uh, Celestino Caballero. These are more so fights where high profile bouts where the fights were seen either as even or the favorite loss. But not just that, it's just a one, they were such one-sided fights. So, and thus one of the fighters, uh, the other fighter had a horrible performance in my opinion. So, that being said, the fights that came to my mind first off was uh, Oscar De La Hoya versus Manny Pacquiao. I'm sure everyone's seen this fight by now. Um, most people picked De La Hoya to win. Um, fortunately, I could say I picked Pacquiao, but uh, a lot of the boxing experts, writers, and a lot of people on here, fans, picked De La Hoya. Uh, he got dominated. Um, was never really in the fight, never really had nothing to offer, just flat. Manny dominated from bell to bell. And uh, yeah, I definitely can say that not only is that one of the worst performances of last year, that's probably Australia Hoey's worst performance of all time, maybe other than the Felix Sturm fight. Next up, I'd say I have uh, Roy Jones versus Joe Calzaghi. Now, granted, Roy did knock uh, Joe down in the first round. After that, he got dominated. He was never really in the fight. Um, and Joe Kazagi clowned him throughout the fight, which uh, was very reminiscent of kind of the antics Roy used to do against similar opponents, or against opponents uh, when he was in his prime. But uh, yeah, like I said, aside from the first round, Roy just never really had nothing to offer and just got schooled. You know, and a lot of people picked Jones in that fight as well. Um, not myself, but still. It was very much a one-sided fight aside from the first round. Next up, Kelly Pavlik versus Bernard Hopkins. Um, I must admit I picked Kelly Pavlik in this fight. As did a lot of people, the majority of people it seemed. But uh, he got schooled. I mean, literally. Bernard Hopkins, old school technique over uh, youth. You know, and experience. Um, Hopkins just schooled him. Pavlik was never in the fight. Lost every round. Maybe won one round, if you could even give him that. But uh, Hopkins schooled him and uh, made it look like a pro against an amateur. Uh, next fight that I'm going to mention is... a. Uh, Samuel Peter versus Vitaly Klitschko for a heavyweight title. Vitaly was coming off a four-year layoff. Samuel Peter was the champ. And you, if you watch this fight, it looked like Peter was the one that had been on the four-year layoff. He looked like he was stuck in quicksand. Could never get off. Vitaly dominated him. And uh, Peter ended up quitting or uh, retiring on his stool, much like Dale Hoy did against Pacquiao. Very disappointing fight. Um, next up. Antonio Tarver versus Chad Dawson. Uh, this was seen as a kind of an even fight going into it, but Dawson absolutely dominated Tarver. Just had the quicker hands, the younger fighter, the fresher fighter. Um, just put on a great performance, and Tarver really was never in that fight. Um, the sad thing is they're actually having a rematch later on this year, which is completely unwarranted because um, they had a rematch clause in the contract. Tarver did, but I don't see anything changing. If anything, Dawson might win the fight stoppage sooner than uh, you know the first one to a decision uh, next up we got Nikolai Valuev against Evander Holyfield um, I picked Valuev to win this fight I didn't think Holyfield should be in the fight I was worried about him getting possibly hurt but uh, that wasn't the case Nikolai, I mean the first off it was an awful fight, one of the worst uh, heavyweight championship fights I've probably ever seen in my life but Holyfield deserved to win and Valuev looked horrible he just plotted his way through the fight didn't really do much of anything, didn't even give an effort. Um, I don't really know, uh, as far as the decision, I, I've already talked about that in the past on a video, but Valua's performance was just awful. And uh, um, as much as I didn't want to see the first fight, hopefully Holyfield will get a rematch because he does deserve it. And speaking of awful heavyweight title fights, last on my list of uh, options, I guess you would say, all of Vladimir Klitschko's fights last year against Hasim Rockman, Tony Thompson, and Sultan Abragamov. First, the Abragamov fight, 
Um, once again, credit to Klitschko for making these such one-sided fights, but the fights were boring, and um, all the performances by the opponents were very lackluster. First off, Sultan Bragamoff um, never really was any threat in that fight to Klitschko. Never really offered much, and he was actually it was a unification bout, so Bragamoff had a title, but wow, you wouldn't be able to think that he had a title based on his performance. Uh, the Tony Thompson fight, Tony Thompson's just not on the same level as Vladimir Klitschko, bottom line. But he didn't really take any chances in that fight or do anything much that uh, warranted uh, even a spirited performance, let's say. And finally, Hasim Rockman. Looked like he just came for a payday. He was a late replacement for Alexander Povetkin, I understand, but looked like he was there for a payday. Ended up looking like a punching bag throughout the fight. Didn't offer up much of anything. Had a couple people tell me maybe he can get lucky and land a punch like he did on Lewis. Um, you have to throw punches to land them, and Rockman did very few of that in his fight. So, Anyways, those are uh, what I think are some of the worst performances of last year. Just kind of curious to hear what your guys' opinions are. Just a uh, you know, little topic I'm just having fun with, you know. Um, no disrespect to any of the fighters I, I discussed. I just thought maybe, you know, I was surprised how many, uh, how one-sided all of those fights ended up being, especially going into them. They seemed, mo most of them seemed to be very competitive. Uh, so I'd like, once again, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, my personal opinion, I'd say the worst performance based on everything going into it and the way everyone perceived the fight to look would be Oscar Dillo against Manny Pacquiao. He seemed to be the favorite, and uh, not only did he lose, he got absolutely dominated in a, uh, um, who knows, may even be Oscar's last fight. So um, that's it for now. Like I, like I said, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on it. But uh, until next time, I'm out of here. Bye.